Thunderbird is definitely a really well-designed operator created by Ubisoft not only for her unique gadget and gameplay, but her lore is one of a kind as well. I'm Sir Jeppy, and today we're looking at all the pieces of lore and backstory I could possibly find on Team Rainbow's newest operator, Thunderbird. So make sure to leave a like as we get right into the video. But before we do, I just wanted to help out some of you guys out there watching the video. Look, I'm just going to be straight up with you all. It sucks shaving your nuts, and I know you know that. With the constant fear of slicing your sack sometimes, it's very, very nerve-wracking to clean up well your balls. Well, use my affiliate link for smoothmyballs.com and get yourself a Turf Chopper 3.0, and you'll never have to worry about nicking your nuts ever again. It's incredible technology makes cleaning yourself up so easy and quick without fear of a bloodbath. Every turf chopper you buy plants one tree in the Amazon rainforest, so why don't you shave your jungle and save the jungle with my affiliate link in the description for some money off. Cool. Sorry, ladies, for you having to hear that, but uh, back to Thunderbird. Well, Thunderbird's real name is actually Mina Sky, and she was born on April 1st in the Nakodan territories of Canada. Wow, so Mina was born on April Fool's. Is there anyone else watching the video who was born on April Fool's as well? Let me know in the comments below. Well, anyways, Thunderbird's entire design and lore is based off of the Nakodan tribes in Canada. And of course, with every tribe across North America, their numbers continue to decrease and decrease due to Western expansion and converting to a more quote unquote modern way of life. But here with Thunderbird, she does go and move on to live a very fulfilling life, but stays true to her roots at every turn. When she was very, very young, her mother and father would instill upon her the way of life for the Nakodian people. One of Mina's earliest memories is one of her mother teaching her the extreme importance of community and what it means to serve each other. Also, Thunderbird would grow up to be a grease junkie as well, who absolutely loved everything to do with cars and mechanics. Her first introduction to engines was with her father, who is presumed to be a mechanic and started to teach her everything he knows. Now, we have a reasonable guess that Thunderbird's father was either in the military as a mechanic or just somehow works on helicopters for a living because it says in her lore that her father taught her how to completely understand helicopters way before she would ever pilot one. Now, Thunderbird's desire to fly and expand her knowledge of the outside world would start to flourish as she got a little bit older. And when she graduated school, wanting to experience new things in life, she would enroll in the Bold Eagle program. Now, at only 17 years old, she would complete basic training easily and was ready to start serving her country and community. The Bold Eagle program helped her get on the right track to do all of that pretty easily. It was during this time that Thunderbird would truly embrace and incorporate Nakodan values completely in her way of life. Yeah, her mother and father would teach her things, but due to some community elders and indigenous instructors, her interest and respect for Nakoda would consume her at this point. Some values that they would teach her are love your community, honor and respect nature, and stay true to tradition. She would tattoo her chin in a symbolic Nakodan symbol and wear her father's jacket littered with tons of indigenous lore as well. Like the back of her jacket says Wagia. Now, if we translate that into Nakodan, it says Thunderbird. Now, the reason why Mina would pick Thunderbird as her call sign when she eventually joins Team Rainbow is due to in part to the jacket she loves that her father gave her and the significance of what a Thunderbird is in Nakodan culture. A Thunderbird, not to be confused with the Pokemon Zapdos, <laughs> is a legendary creature that is considered a supernatural being of power and strength, which is exactly Mina Sky or a Thunderbird. Moving on, after Mina joined the Canadian Armed Forces, she would work her way into and completing flight school. Now, I'm sure with her father's teachings, learning how to operate helicopters was probably a breeze, but something was troubling her. All the CAF was teaching her how to do so far was how to take lives. Remembering her mom's words of wisdom when she was younger on the importance of balance, Thunderbird would seek to instill the same mentality to the military. So if the armed forces would teach her to take lives, she would want to balance that out by learning how to save lives as well, kind of like the other operator, Doc in Siege. She signed up for basic medical training school and got to work as an aerial medic, taking care of injured soldiers and people in the community needing help as well. And boy, do I have a story for you on this same topic. Now with the mystery of another operator in Siege Nomad on how she lost her two fingers and very nearly died, finally answered, I'm just left in amazement with how the lures of these operators 
continue to intertwine with each other all the time. So in 2015, we see that Nomad was lost in the mountains of Canada due to a massive storm. She lost her way and ended up getting injured. It almost killed her. Now, we don't know how Thunderbird received a distress call or a missing person report, but somehow she found Nomad. Now, I could talk about this or I can let this great cinematic do the storytelling for me. Roll the clip. Ready? Six years ago, I met a pilot. She saved my life. Oh, damn. That symbol, what does it mean? <laughs> this jacket was my father's. Dagu Wakan, we chakpi. The creator's star has many meanings. Love, wisdom, bravery. Shoots you. Listen, I need to get this bird in the air. You try to get some rest. Yo, de bus. What's happening? Now again, I think it's so cool that Thunderbird saved Nomad's life with Nomad returning the favor of getting Thunderbird an invitation to join Team Rainbow later in life. Now I'll talk about Nomad's conversation with Harry to recruit Thunderbird in a second, but I wanted to share a cool trivia fact with you guys. So uh, here we go. So Thunderbird operates and pilots a Augusta Westland CH-149 Coromont helicopter. Now there are only three squadrons in the Royal Canadian Force that use these particular rescue helicopters. Those being the 103rd Search and Rescue Squadron, the 413th Transport and Rescue Squadron, and the 442nd Transport and Rescue Squadron, respectively. Now, that means that she has to be a part of one of these squads because they're the only ones that use the helicopter. Now, my money is on the first one. What do you guys think? I don't know, I just thought that was pretty cool. Well, moving on, let's talk about Nomad reaching out to Harry for recruitment of Thunderbird into Team Rainbow. Quote, Harry, having someone who can watch your six stitch you up and fly you out is quite the trifecta i've worked with specialist mina thunderbird sky before and i'm confident with her at my back mina may seem like she takes risks as a pilot but they're calculated she's always in control of herself and adaptable to her surroundings though i investigated her background more extensively i am still affected by something she said when we first met quote if you break something you should learn to fix it if you fear something, you should seek to understand it. And if you hurt someone, you should know how to stitch the wound. Now, I know this wisdom came from her mother and like all her teachings, Thunderbird honors it. Growing up in the Nakota territories, it was her passion for preserving her community's traditions that first led to her work in hydrology. She studied water storage, wastewater and river management. She believes that understanding water's relation to the earth is the first step in ensuring essential and accessible water sources for all peoples. Thunderbird is nothing if not resourceful. I've seen her splint a broken bone with two sticks and a shoelace, but in our line of work, we don't always have time to tie shoelaces, let alone search for sticks. Her healing tech has come a long way since I first saw it. What impresses me most though, is the distribution method. She can't be everywhere at once, so I'm grateful to have another medic on the field. We can use as many friendlies as we can get. Sometimes a comforting presence while you heal is just as important as keeping you alive. Luckily, she excels at both. I wouldn't have suggested we make Thunderbird an offer if I didn't think she was a good fit, and I'm not just saying that because she saved my life." End quote from Specialist Sana Nomad El Maktoub. 
Now, I remember reading that for the first time before the reveal of Operation North Star and being like, what? She saved Nomad's life? <laughs> well, to no one's surprise, the plea to get Thunderbird recruited into Rainbow worked as we see Harry invite her to join Team Rainbow. Now, Harry and Mina Sky meet up for the psychological evaluation that Harry does to all new recruits who join the multinational anti-terror organization that is Team Rainbow. And instead of me paraphrasing parts of the evaluation, I figured we let Harry say everything for himself. So uh, here we go. Quote, when Nomad first brought specialist Mina Thunderbird Sky to our attention, I wasn't surprised by her recommendation. Sky is an accomplished medical officer, aviation mechanic, and pilot. She seems to have the necessary drive, training, and temperament to meld with Nomad's team. I was, however, surprised that this was the first I've heard of her. Had it not been for Sky's medical training, Nomad may not have survived the incident in the North. I wonder if that encounter inspired Nomad to become the friendship of a hunter like Specialist Frost. Given her background, I feel that Frost and Sky would have much to bond over as well. Family is clearly important to Sky, and that goes beyond media blood ties. The Nakota community had a big influence on and hand in raising Sky as her parents. The knowledge passed down is not solely a history, but a heritage to be practiced and preserved as a way of life. Overall, Sky has an emotional awareness that's born from understanding and acceptance. She seeks balance in everything she does. She describes the world and the human body as an engine. First, you need to understand its purpose and then how it functions. If a wire is shredded, you can't fix it with a screw, but a screw can hold a bone in place as it heals. I appreciate the analogy. Listen first, then find a solution. That's not to say she doesn't lose her temper. What gets under her skin, as Sky puts it, is lack of respect. Respect for others, whether it's their way of life or their right to life, is essential to her principles. Sky's evaluation of risk seems to be tempered by her confidence and experience. After discussing some of her more harrowing adventures, I was concerned about her daredevil tactics. I did ask her what it felt like when she was in the air and if it was an adrenaline rush that fueled her. Her response was a smile and a simple quote, it felt like flying. <laughs> well, I guess I deserved that, end quote. Signed, Dr. Harish Fahiri Pandey, director of Team Rainbow. So with Harry's evaluation, we saw a deeper look of Thunderbird's way of life and even some things that really piss her off as well. It's always cool to see these in-depth takes on operators of Siege. Now moving on, we have to figure out how Thunderbird's gadget, the Kona Healing Station, works, right? Well, here we have Finka completing the device evaluation on the Kona Station herself. Finka says how when she examined it, she was really impressed with the technology and how the gadget delivers medical treatment getting the chemicals just right along with the bioabsorbable pellets to deliver the medicine amazed finger on top of the 360 degree rotating device the addition of chitosoin with the pressure from the expanding foam pellets can seal a big wound on any given person recognizing human is nearby and delivering the medicine canister in a precise location took a lot of programming and development. Unfortunately, the Kona station has no armor plating at all and is very easily destroyed or rendered useless. Well, everyone, looks like we're all done with Thunderbird's lore. I had a lot of fun making this video, so if you enjoyed it, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, jippee out!